Damn it. What are you got available? 522 kilograms? Holy shit. What is the pr is premium literally just going to be Oh, it's actually wow. Premium delivery is 40 minutes. I thought it was going to be like 30 minutes. Ah. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Hey, we look at all the shit here now. It's so absurd how much shit just pops up as soon as you're connected to the network. It makes sense. But damn it. <laughs> I needed this stuff. So my bike could have made it over here. Alright, I gotta go that way. It should be smooth sailing over to this guy's base. He might bitch about the quality of the items, but... Like I said to this guy, you live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, a little in the middle of nowhere? It'd, it'd be one thing if you were in the middle of nowhere and it was like... A smooth ride going over here. I'm fine with distance. I'm not fine with bumpy paths. Oh hey, another mule base? Sick. Maybe not. Okay. These guys are real close to each other, holy crap. Ah. You know, get some nice relaxing effects from this. I need it. After all the... After all the things that happened here. I'll never get over it. I just wanted to make a sick jump. And I made one. And I failed two. And those were my three trial runs of making cool jumps. At least... At least without being able to have like a little bit of a longer run up time. What the hell? I didn't expect to see all these cars here, but I'm uh, using a junkyard, I suppose. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Fragile express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Holy shit. What is all this? Kyrelium contaminated cargo? Cairo waste. This is cargo that has been contaminated with chiralium and marked for disposal. The bottom of a crater lake is the ideal disposal location. Pick the cargo up and take it to the nearest lake. Huh. I don't even know where the nearest lake is. Here? Uh, well, first off, let me deliver this stuff. Is that the junk dealer or like a kid? The fuck? Long time gone, my girl. All because of some terrorist nut jobs and their buddies at Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time. Like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? Yeah, at least you didn't mention about the, the quality of the item. That's rank!
All right, junk dealer. What is it that you want us to do to get you on the network? As far as I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. I'll blow you up too, dude. Nothing you say will convince me otherwise. So take your cupid and fuck off. Right. Okay. Well, okay then. Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Uh, he seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Ah. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery terminal and see what he wants. I was hoping he'd follow up with a way to convince him, but fine, we can do something for him. What the hell do you want? He wants us to go into the middle of this probably BT and yep, BT infested land. Oh boy. Our favorite junk dealer is at it again. He wants us to scab and scrap and other materials from ruins outside South Knot City. The order calls for no less than 60 kilos, but the more the better, he says. The ruins are part of an old section of South Knot that was destroyed in a terrorist attack. BT activity is still regularly confirmed. In short, he's asking you to risk your neck for a back-breaking heap of junk. Asshole. Make sure you're well prepared. Well, I have things to fight against BT, so I got that covered. Hmm. I don't think I really need all these bola guns, though. Although bola guns can be used against BTs. Ace in private locker. Eh, we'll actually keep it because maybe I'll need it need it to carry all the shit that he's wanting us to bring. Or any cool items that might be out there. So how the fuck does this work? Whoops, not, that's not what I wanted to do. Get the rest of this on there. And load on the carrier. All right, we've got 134 kilograms of chiral waste to, to dispose of. And we gotta go over to this area anyways. I'm assuming this is a crater lake. So we'll make our way into there. We probably have to go this way. And then we'll make our way to the lake. And then we'll make our way back over here. Although we'll see if I can just climb over this hill first. May I receive junk disposal? What does he gotta say about that? I have a job for you. You should be interested. A pile of junk is accumulated near my shelter. It needs to be disposed of. There's a problem, however. Some of the aforementioned waste products may be contaminated by chirillium, which means they have the, the only safe place in which to dispose of them is the Crater Lake to the south. 
should be an easy job for Bridges Man such as yourself, but it's up to you whether you take the job or not. It would certainly help me view you and your kind more favorably if you were to agree to help me, Hopper. <laughs> and then like a billion thumbs up. Yeah, don't worry, I was already on it. You little bastard. Hmm. This guy's gonna get me killed. I do not have, uh, much battery power remaining on my, on my suit here. Oh, come on, trying to, trying to make my way over here. Okay, this mountain was a lot smaller than it looked like on the map, so we kind of took a little bit of a shortcut. I probably shouldn't be sprinting around as much. I should be saving my battery for when we go into the zone. As I can guarantee there's probably going to be some time fall in here. Yeah, time fall all over this entire region, yikes. Well, I hope I'm more on the right way for this, uh... This disposal. Here comes the time fall. Okay, it suddenly went from red to, like, a grayish blue. Caught off guard by that. But, I don't think there's any BTs between here and the lake, so that's good. I'm fucking wrong. So how the balls do I get this to the middle of the lake? Oh, we just throw it. Got you. Alright. I don't know if that worked. I might have to go a little bit deeper. Nope. It's going in. Yeah, this is... This is how we fix the world. Dump our toxic waste in the water. Yeah! 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 I don't like how far I keep getting pushed forward. I'm like trying to stay on the edge of this lake. Alright. There you go. Oh wait, hold on. There's still one more. How the fuck do I get rid of this one? <laughs> it's 50 kilograms, I don't think I can toss it! But I can try! Yeah! Alright! That is some intense carrying power Sam has. Okay. Oh no. Well, we got the coward contamination stuff gone. But we might have some BTs along the way. Shit. 
and I need to make my way over here for the old components, which actually might just be in this entire region, which kind of sucks. You know, I could do something cheesy. I could just let myself get captured and fight my way through the BTs, clearing the area out. That'd probably be the safest thing I could do. Oh, if this asshole had placed us in a region, I could put a PCC down at least. Leave my cargo in a safe space. Alright, hold on. We're gonna purposely let ourselves get captured. But we're gonna attach the hermetic grenades to my suit. Attach the suit, replace left shoulder. Attach the suit, replace right shoulder. Okay, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> Hold on, it had to be the other one. That's a suit. Left shoulder. And then I could also remove the, uh... The legs right now, because they're not really doing anything. Which would allow me to then... Put more of the grenades... On the rest of my suit. Right hip. I think that actually- is that all the hermetic grenades I have? Yikes. Left hip. Anything attached to my suit doesn't fall off when I get yoinked around, so that's my goal. What's on my, uh... Silver Act the Bola gun? That's fine, yeah. Alright. First of all, I want to see what happens when I shoot these fuckers with the Bola gun. Well, it gets tied up, and I'm assuming it can't attack. There might be some safe areas I could put my, uh, my loot. I just don't want it to get damaged by timefall. I also could just sneak past all this shit, but I kind of want to fight it out. It's been so long, and look how far everything is from each other. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put all of my excess stuff onto this floating carrier. There we go. And then I can just leave it here. Let's rock it. Oh no! A BT! This is alright! This is planned! Take me to your leader! Okay, you're different. 
Oh, that's not good. Let go of me! No! Okay, might have just caused a void out. Uh, oops. I didn't know that it would do that. I thought I would have to be killed first. Uh, you may encounter souls of other players in the team, touching them and strengthen your connection, enabling you to share more items, facilities. Be sure to connect as many as you can. Here you go. I'm touching as many as I can. There's me! There's my soul! Boop. I think that's all I'm gonna do- like, all I can do here. Alright. Well, you know, the good news is I think having a, causing a void out also clears out the BTs in the area. So, you know, honestly, not that bad. Wait, I got their fucking cargo because I- wow, that's kind of funny. Yeah, this shit can get off my back. Or I could attach my suit. I think I, my power skeleton got damaged. Eh, not that bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's not terrible. Uh, excuse you, I said to attach this shit. Woo. So that's what happens when a void out happens. Uh... Oops. The good news is, this shit is not... ...where all the items were, so, you know what? That, that's fine with me. I'm a little sad that I wasn't actually able to fight that fucking thing, though. It just instant killed me. Now I know, okay. Get to cover those things. Instant kill. So, uh, whoa, okay. Can't go into there, but to be fair, there's nothing down there for me. Alright, well, I got part of what I was looking to do. Ugh. I cleared the area out. Remove cargo and equip. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't want to make that the permanent way I deal with uh, uh with BTs. Obviously, causing a void out damages the surrounding area and you might want some items that are in the surrounding area. But as I perfectly <laughs> managed to avoid causing the void out where it mattered, just gonna casually go over and grab my shit. Part of my plan worked too. I made sure to stash away a bunch of my loot so it wouldn't get damaged. Let's get a move on. Put this on the ground. And then put all the shit that's on my back on the cargo over here.
All right. Let's get to looting. That cranky junk dealer wanted us to get as much junk as possible, and well, this is the only way we were going to be able to manage it. Not getting harassed by BTs the entire time. And timefall. That was that was another thing I wanted to do. Clearing up timefall. And if that fucker had given us access to his network, watchtowers to spot all of his stuff. They don't realize it while they're being stingy. They're actually hurting their own end profits. I gotta say, if this shit detaches, I'm gonna be real sad. You know, I'll give credit to, uh, to the development team. They probably knew, like, hey, we're sending our players into an area for a story mission, and we're putting BTs there. What if they cause a void out? Uh, make sure the void out happens. Make sure the boss fight happens away from all the all the story related loot. Good idea. <laughs> there we go. You know, for a nuked out city, uh, okay. What I was gonna say is, for a nuked out city, this place is pretty intact. Nuked out city that then also came to like time fall. That's a double whammy. Man, if this guy complains about, like, any container damage... I'll be pretty mad. It's like, dude... The city was nuked. <laughs> oh, you have to be fucking kidding me. Alright! We cleared the BTs out only temporarily! Shit. Uh, okay... Well, there's only two more story related ones here. We're just gonna sneak this time. I only have three more left to grab. I expected the BTs to be cleared out for a lot longer than, like, a few minutes. Well, it looks like they can't, uh... They can't ignore death for that long. <laughs> 